Hello and welcome everybody, my name is Savage and today we're going to be having a look at BTC. Before we get into the price action, I'd just like to say thank you for watching the video. If you'd like to show support and you enjoy the content, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and leave us some feedback in the comment section below. Okay, let's jump into the price action. So there's a few things that we're watching out for here, and currently I'm looking at this as a 5 wave move to the downside. And what I would be looking at is as being within this, actually, let me change the color of this quickly, just so in this yellow uh, five, fifth wave to the downside, it is possible we're still within this fourth wave. And basically the way they would be looking at that is um, it could be a completed WXY, basically up to this high point here of, uh, if I just put a mark on this, this 16.8, uh, 16,863 zone. So this could be a completed high point here, and we could be looking to stop to drop down for this uh, fifth wave move at the moment. Though looking at the current structure to the downside, we don't have enough confirmation to say that we are getting a um, getting a five wave move here. And what we would be looking for is potentially a retracement up to this 50% to this 786, going higher than the 786 area. Would sort of invalidate what well, would make it very unlikely that um that we would be looking for continuation to the downside and it becomes more likely that we're continuing to push to the upside so basically within this move here we wouldn't want to move back above this 18 16863 zone if we did then we would have to look at this move slightly different if that does play out then what we could have here is all of this could actually be a a W wave into this high point. We could have a connector wave here and we could look to push up one more time before we look to break down. So if I just throw this on here and we push this up to this zone here, so the one to one would bring us to this 16,966 area. And what we would be looking at there is if I just quickly pull a fib off of this zone here down into this low we could see if we came up towards this zone it would be pretty much between the 16 the, the 0 0.382 and the 0 0.5 area which is not uncommon for a fourth wave correction so should this move not be completed um, as a wxy into this high point here then it's possible we could be looking at a bigger corrective structure here, looking to target out towards the 16,966 zone. This is the one-to-one. -one. It doesn't have to travel this distance, but um, it could be a potential target area. So that's where we could be looking for. Like um, So this this um, impulse of Triggy at 1741, we really wouldn't want to go above that. Otherwise, we can start counting this um, this move here as a potential impulsive move. And what we'd be looking at is basically um, a five. We'd have to look at this as a diagonal of some description. One, two, th so one, two, three, four, and five up into this high point. And then this would become a wave two. If I actually, I just need to just double check it, but I think that I need to move this now because of the, um, the structure that's played out. Okay, so this has moved slightly higher. So moving above this 17, uh, 17,176 zone would effectively allow for us to look at the potential that what we actually have come happening here is that this fourth wave, um, this fifth wave is going to invalidate, and what we have is this all in, as a one into this zone, a two, a three, four, and a five. I don't think this is likely. But we just need to see how the how the waves react. I do th primarily. My, I'm still looking for another fourth, uh, fifth wave to the downside. So that's what what my primary expectation is. Though should we start to move up and break above the 16,863, then we could be looking to target out this zone here that we talked about at 16,968. Following that, basically we'd be looking for this yellow fifth wave drop. Now there's a couple of, there is two ways of looking at this. We can look at this as just an extended wave one in this, and then basically we would still, um, we would only, we would only be expecting one more um, fourth, fifth wave to the downside. So this would become a one, two, 
this would all become a three this would be a four and a five but i don't like it it looks it is neater to count it as a one two one two three four five and then basically we're looking for an additional fourth and fifth wave uh with with the, this move what we would be expecting is should we move down into this low point here basically what we'd be looking for is a move back up towards this 0 0.382 to this 0 0.5 again so from completion in the 16424 to the 16260 zone we'd be looking for an additional third wave to the upside sorry fourth wave to the upside and a fifth wave down towards potentially the 16236 to the 16045 zone once this is completed basically we've got a couple of options that we need to keep track of here so if we are looking for the fact that maybe we have completed our move our fourth wave move at this high point here what we would be looking for is for progression back to the upside here in this uh, green wave two and what that would look like is we would have a three wave move to the upside like this and basically that could be as they generally um wave twos if they develop like this are genuinely zigzags but it could be a flat correction so we just need to be mindful of what what uh, whatever move develops within this the wave four should alternate to that so with this um with this move here we could look to target as high up as the 1789 one area that would be the 786 zone uh, but the typical areas between the 17242 and this uh, 17504 like i said there's potential that it could look to push up a bit higher but uh, we really wouldn't want it to go past this zone here because the 786 once we cross it it starts becoming less likely that we are in a um in a normal correction and we could look to invalidate invalidation of these moves to the downside comes by cursing back above this 18,387 area so there is something else we're going to talk about here quickly uh, if i just turn this back off we did briefly talk about the potential that we could be um, still within a wxy pattern here and basically what we were looking at uh, when we were when we were talking about that i don't have it on here let me just delete this for a second and what that would be is potentially that you know we could have we could have something like this developing where we're actually still in a corrective structure and all of this move so far is still um is still looking for a move to the upside so basically within this we instead of looking at this this way what we would be looking at is the potential that we have had a a a b and a c wave to the downside so once this five wave move complete that could effectively be a a um x wave completed and then we could look to push back up again um as a as a y wave to the upside and what this would be looking at potentially is looking it depends exactly how deep we go here with this move but we could look to potentially push back up in a corrective structure and look to target out potentially this top area again at 18,410 um anyway it can it can travel pretty much um up anyway up to this one one to one and then anywhere it can stop anywhere before this 1.618 there's we don't have enough structure here but this one to one area would be of interest first as a primary target and then from there we would basically be looking um looking to see where we would go if that does happen that would mean that we are still within this fourth wave move that we were looking for and basically we could we would still be looking for an additional drop from that point uh given the current structure here it's really hard to count this as a bullish move um and because we've come and taken this low here it starts to become very unlikely that it is we could we could argue there's a diagonal here um but the fact that we've had what what's this this move here is like is definitely a 5 wave move so basically it's it's very unlikely because we would have been expecting a zigzag and if that is if that is the case what i would be talking about is basically having a move like this where we have this as a one two three 
we can't actually have a diagonal here because we've crossed this wave point. Okay, so that's fine. We've, we've eliminated that option. So that's good. So basically, yeah, I think either we're still within this corrective structure and we're actually forming a um, an ABC here where we look at this as a, a zigzag pattern or we are looking to progress to the downside straight from this zone and we're looking for that direct sell-off. Okay, so those are the things that I'll be watching. Basically, confirmation that we're in a sell-off uh, directly would come by completing these five wave moves that we talked about. If I just throw this back on, uh, I'll throw it back over here. There we go. Is by completing these five, five wave moves to the downside here and then looking for a move back to the upside, but not being able to break back above this previous high point. Confirmation would come by hitting these by hitting this zone and then having an additional five wave move to the downside, which ideally, if I just mark, if I just um, measure this out from this low point here, if we move back up to the 618 area, confirmation of this move would really sort of come by crossing down past this 14,242, and then we'd be looking for a fourth wave and a continuation to the downside. This would effectively be looking to target out towards this 13,965 to this 13,549. This obviously depends on how the waves form exactly and we would have to be aware that there is possibility for extension within these waves. Unfortunately, sometimes when, when the waves are still developing, it's hard to, to, to um, track them in real time because we can uh, incorrectly identify wave structures which we can say are completed but aren't so we just have to give it a bit of time and see how we react basically i'm still looking for these fifth waves wait for this retracement see if we get this rejection should we fail to get the rejection and we look to break this high then we'd have to take it that we are still within this fourth wave and we would be looking for an additional drop at a later point Okay, so I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and leave us some feedback in the comment section below. Thank you everybody for your support, we really appreciate it, and until we see each other in the next video, keep safe out there.